Hello, Bill Molyneux here with a quick miniature painting update. I've talked about this in the past, but I've gotten a lot of people recently have been asking me about these 54 millimeter plastic figures and also 172nd. And yes, uh, painting them couldn't be an issue. So I have two figures here that I'm going to be painting on my own, not sending to Jim Shaw. The first thing you do is you wash them in Dawn dishwashing detergent to get off any film from the uh, molding process. Now the next thing I like to do is glue them on a big heavy poker chip. Now these aren't the cheap poker chips. These are the really good heavy poker chips. They're 10 bucks a box and these are a clay chip um, over metal. So this actually gives the plastic figure some, some weight. So once I get that done, then I use Krylon or Rust-Oleum plastic paints, spray paints. And the Krylon works great, and so doesn't the Rust-Oleum, as long as it uh, says four plastics. Bonds to plastic, right there it says bond to plastic. And what I like to do is use blue for the Union, gray for the confederates so the figure is almost painted at that point all it needs is its detail and once I'm done with that and Jim Shaw in Gettysburg paints all the detail for me these two figures I'll paint myself then I use a clear matte enamel or polyurethane paint or polyurethane gloss spray and that protects the outer finish and I, uh, I like to make sure they have a couple good coats. So, wash the figure, spray paint it with a bond to plastic spray paint. Um, I have this paint out here. If you were to use this on this plastic, it will chip off. You need to get that first uh, either primer or main color. And um, really, that's about it. And my giant poker chips. And I got more trees in. They're all painted, flocked, and ready to go. And a quick look. Once again, uh, this weekend, I'm going to be setting up the first Antietam game. Maybe even this evening, I'll get the battlefield set up. And what do we have outside? Well, let's go take a look. Well, I got the BMC... Lee's headquarters which comes in brown from Mr. John at the Gettysburg Miniature Shop once again my go-to for everything I've just spray painted it white it is going to be the Dunker Church um, I'm not sure what the door colors will be I'm not sure if they're green like the shutters or brown hey if anyone out there knows if I should paint this door green or brown let me know and secondary thing I got those guns that were in olive drab. I, I hit them with some brown primer already. So the caissons are glued, wheels ready to go on, a little bit of a wash and detail, and they'll be set. So to end this video, we have enough uh, 54 millimeter figures, just about 560 is what I'm counting. Um, maybe close to 600 that uh, between all the artillery figures, the cavalry, the infantry, I can do the Antietam scenarios from the Antietam book at the 1 to 30 scale. And my 7.5 foot table by 6 foot is going to work fine. A little bit of adjustments and stay tuned for Antietam. Probably will go through for the next several uh, weeks. Thank you, stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and uh, leave some feedback. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. Thank you.